Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Something Different. Greetings and salutations, people. And this is indeed something different. This is Gourmet Sentai. It is the weirdest... One of the weirder games you will play. It's Dr. Lightbulbhead. Dr. Bulbhead. He has a light bulb in his hat. He pays the electrical bill. I suddenly want that hat. I want that mustache. I want that hat. And that necktie. And the steampunk zombie is flipping us off. Darn him. He's the most awesome mustache ever. And this is the menu screen with the most awesome menu screen music ever. And if you look in the background, you see a little man dancing. Dance, little man. Dance! Okay. Let's get started with the actual game. Uh, just start. Two players. There's so many menu options! I can't so choose. Many menu options. I will be Bonjour, because he has a giant vein in his neck. From and I will be Madame, because I always play female characters. Because I do. It's a standard. I don't know why One? I do anymore. I just do. One thing you'll notice about this game, you pose! Manly posing! And do wrestling moves! And a whole bunch of other moves we will never figure out because this game is ridiculous. We will never find out um, actual moves that we can use in this game until like halfway through the game. Yeah. That's. The only, I know how to punch and I know how to kick them up into the air and knock their heads into the ground. Yep. And as far as I can tell, sometimes, maybe I can do it more consistently if I knew how to do it. But as far as I can tell, sometimes, I, they stay in there and I can do wrestling moves off of them. I can do swan diving, and I can punch people so hard they get knocked back across the screen. Swan dive! And I will pose while he beats up a character. Yes. there is friendly fire in this game. I don't think we hurt each other when we do it, though. It just irritates us and opens up other people to beat the crap out of us. Eggplants! I am not a fan of eggplants. How about punching him when you're standing right next to him? That works. Oh, he exploded! Wow! <laughs> Mohawk! Mohawk! These guys will technically kill themselves if you stand close enough to them. It's tricky to get them do it to do it though, because they won't do it unless you're standing nearby. Yeah, it's basically their only attack, but it does quite a bit of damage. And there are tiny people piloting the Moai heads. Yes. If you look really closely, the tiny person is actually standing on top of the Moai. In single player mode, those guys will drop these certain items that will copy you, and your copy is basically a second player AI. And Which is far better at the game than we will ever be. Exactly. I'm beating up Jack. The AI is actually smart enough. Not only can it beat the crap out of other characters, but it knows if you're standing there beating up a character at the edge of the screen, not to run over and help you. It just stands there and poses awesomely. There are three major game mechanics in this game. Beating people up, posing, and food. Oh, the greatness of food. That was the most grammatically correct sentence ever. Food! I climb on you. Yeah, you're a jerk. Oh, so that's their attack. They just kind of explode after they do it. is mine, and there's a little person writing it. The Moai has jet nostrils, and they sneeze on you. And he winks at you. When he... Him. Yep. It is disturbing. They can crush you, and then they have a very detailed winking animation. The graphics on this game are very detailed. It's nice. It's surprising. Come here, Mr. Moai. I'm going to kick you into the air, even though I can't jam your head into the ground, because all you are is a head. 
feel like my game audio is a bit low. Oh, that might just be my computer volume. That should help us a bit. And I can suddenly hear it more now. Yes! Victorious! I must climb on him! Both of us shall climb and do great wrestling moves for great justice. Swan diving is for justice. Oh! Yeah, and as you people may have noticed, all the storyline we got for this game was in that intro where they explained little to nothing. And the ending explains just as much, if not less. Really, yeah. It involves flowers and prancing. TV head! If you want to know what this game's about... This is it. That right there... That right there's a pretty good representation of this game. I hate this channel. Urgh. Change away from TV head channel. Ow! Ow! Buy direct TV today, it'll knock the crap out of you. And I find that the best strategy against this boss is about the best strategy against most bosses, which is jump in the air and jump kick them, and they die. Yep. And I get soybeans. Food! Oh, I like lobster. I am Tofu Shroom Man. Let's go with lobster and eggs. I yes. believe the storyline in this game has something to do with some thing that is bad that turned many foodstuffs into enemies for us to fight. Like Sonic. Just like Sonic, except with food. Yes. And, um, yeah, we have a robotic chef that says, Dinner time! Yes, we collect the food that the, from the enemies having defeated them. And then at the end of the level, we get to cook it into f more food. We eat them, we gain their powers! We are eating our foes for great power. Manly food power. Swan dive. Is all true men gain power from eating? And swan diving and posing! And posing. Posing. We can waste a whole video just standing here doing this, really. Yep. Oh no! Russian dancing on my head! Squish! If you catch him at the, if you catch him at the right time, the little guys do actually play the Russian dance jingle when they do that. It is the weirdest thing ever. See, he winked at me! Quit winking at us! I feel violated by a giant moai head. Whoa, how? What was that? I don't know. I just did some crazy jet kick just by mashing buttons. Oh, I think that was the one move where you, uh... See, I did it again! I think that was the one move where you kick the enemy up and slam its head into the ground. Huh. And I step on you, little man. I can't get it done again, I just kind of randomly mash buttons and it happens. It won't happen anymore. Yeah, I don't think you can do it unless you're attacking an enemy. There we go. Hata! Come on, do it! I don't... I can do it consistently, but I'm still not positive how it's done. I just mashed the punch button, and about halfway through the combo, I kind of push diagonal up and jump. Yep. And you, it eventually works. You Maybe can, the jump button isn't needed. Yep. Maybe the up button isn't needed. You can technically just squish these little guys. You just step on them, and they have this little squish animation. It's beautiful! We're stepping on our foes! You have to scrape them off the floor to get their tofu. And as you saw from the opening, this game is entirely in Japanese. We managed to find a version of the game that has some names translated, so that's all we got. We know enough to know my name is Madame, and his name is Bonjour. And the rest of the enemies' names make no sense. Like, oh I. And well, oh damn, and ah uh, yeah. Yeah, there's an enemy named ah uh, yeah. And he's the strangest enemy of all. He is. He's at least up there. Yep. He's on the list. Alright, we should stop right about here.
because we're past 10 minutes. So, yeah, see you next episode, everybody.